Hopefully by now this question is really, really easy. If you struggled with it, it might be because you didn't know function notation at all, but I had a bunch of uh, videos in the explanations for the first math module that I, I hope went into great detail about how function notation works. Uh, basically, just remember that this is an instruction, and we can see where that 50 is, right? It's right in those parentheses. What else is in those parentheses? The x. And so when we have the, the kind of like blank equation, that is an instruction, and we are being told that in order to uh, change the value of x, we do this special thing to it. We add 200 to it. So it's not a complicated equation, but that's what it means. H of x is defined as you take a number and you add 200 to it. That's what h'ing a number is. Uh, so they're asking us to h 50. I'm using it as a verb. So all we have to do is take our 50 and put it in place of x, and we're going to get that h of 50 is 250. And that's it. That's that's the whole question here. So there's not much more to it. Um, if you are struggling with function notation, it is probably because you just have not had a lot of experience with it yet in eighth or ninth grade. Uh, just get used to it. But remember, basically what we're doing here is we are thinking about y's and x's still. The only difference is the y is written in this more complicated way. But notice the easiest thing to recognize is when we have an x because the, the number that we're plugging in is going to already kind of be plugged in for the x. We'll see other questions questions where they give us the reverse, where they kind of give us the y and ask us to, to solve for x. In those cases, it should again be obvious they're asking for x, so we're probably given the y, so we substitute on that kind of y side. Just keep that, keep track of that, and most of these function notation questions will really just be about either basic arithmetic or basic algebra. So don't let the function notation scare you.